Yo, what is going on YouTube? I'm Blitz5 and here is my brand new toy, the Nintendo Switch. So it's been a couple weeks since I made a YouTube video. I think it's been like three or four weeks, two, three, four weeks. I have no idea. It's been a really long time. I've kind of been neglecting YouTube, but for good reason. I did some traveling and I had some family in town. So during big life events, it's hard to spend time, you know, video editing or planning videos and, and posting stuff to YouTube. That's just kind of an extra thing I do as a hobby for fun. So when I get busy, that kind of gets put to the wayside. But this was probably one of the longest stretches in a while um, where I haven't posted anything to YouTube. Part of that also is because I got the Switch. So if you haven't seen my video about Nintendo slash Nintendo Switch, I'll link it, I'll put it right here or link it down in the description box below. Basically the Nintendo Switch was launched in early March and I've been trying to get one since then. And basically anybody that wants to get one is probably having the same hard time as me unless they got really lucky and went to a GameStop where they randomly had one or if you live in a small town and the demand was just low. But they haven't been able to make enough Switches for all the people. Basically, I feel like it's so bad that people who want to switch might not even get one until 2018 unless they're willing to fork up like GameStop now. If you buy like a $600 bundle, you're able to get the switch, but there's still none available on like Amazon, Toys R Us.com, Target. Like you can't buy it online unless you do one of these crazy bundles. And even then, it's only sometimes available through GameStop. So to me, it's just crazy because it's been what? March, April, May, and now we're into June. So we're into like the fourth month now where it'll be out and they're still having supply issues. Um, but I basically explained that all in the video. I'll stop talking about that now. But the Nintendo Switch is awesome. I got it like two, three weeks ago and I have Zelda and Mario Kart. I had to buy one of these bundles. I'm not gonna say like, you know, how much it costs, but it was one of those expensive bundles. But for me, it was worth it because I got all the games that I wanted to play and it came with a memory card, which I don't necessarily need right now. But it works, I'll take it. And then I had to get another controller because I like the Pro Controller. I don't have it with me, but these controllers are cool. As you've seen in all the videos, like these pop off and then you can like slide them onto its own controller. Um, but this is if like, let's see if I can autofocus it. What's cool about this is this could be one whole controller. So this could, you know, you could theoretically play just like this and it actually has these tiny, tiny, tiny little bumpers. Let's see if I can focus on it. Like this thing is actually a button, which I think is ridiculous. It, it's so tiny. You can actually put this thing on top that's like a, attaches to your wrist and it, it makes these have more of a button. But to me, it's just such a pain in the ass to add another thing on top of here and then you have to take it off to put it back on the system like this. It's just an extra step that I think is unnecessary. The Nintendo Switch is flawless in its idea. It's amazing, right? I could do this, I could play, I could take this off, and then it's got this kickstand built in, so I could tilt this like on a table or whatever, right? You can do this. And then I could be playing like, woo, I'm playing, woo, I'm playing. It's fucking phenomenal. Then if I want to, you go like this, put it into the dock, which is over there, and it's on your TV screen, which is great. But there's so many things that they kind of messed up on this. When you like really think about it, the charging port is like down below here. So if you're like doing something or you, you wouldn't be able to hold it up on the kickstand and charge at the same time. Um, let's see, this where the game goes in doesn't really close all the way. It overheats when it's in the docking station. They say it's fine, but it gets super, super hot. So I feel like it's not ventilated properly. Um, like I said, this little like wristlet thing that goes on here. It's just an extra step that I don't think anybody wants to do. So they have the right idea, but just so many, some of these things aren't really practical, but the system in itself is the most practical system ever. So anyways, I've been playing a lot of Zelda and I've actually been playing a lot with my girlfriend. So it's awesome that we can both play this game together. We started with our own accounts, but then I kind of came to the conclusion that the game is so ridiculously long that we should just play on the same account. And if you're not familiar with the Zelda series or video games at all, um, Zelda's set up to be like an RPG, a role-playing game where you kind of just go around and figure out the game as you go. You have a character, you build them up, there's like missions, you talk to people, you get other side quests, um, 
you basically just roam around the world. But what's awesome about Zelda is there's like literally no guidance. There's just like the most minimal guidance that they have in the game. So they give you like the main objectives. And then you can go anywhere if you want to. You could go to the final boss as soon as you start the game. You just wouldn't be able to beat him unless you like glitch it out or something. I'm sure there's, there's probably somebody on the internet that did that. But regardless, it's just amazing because there's so many games like the new Mario Kart now. We were playing the new Mario Kart together. I know I'm digressing, but we were playing the new Mario Kart together. And I was like, I, I think I was like scratching my nose or something like that. And I was just like hitting go. And I noticed it was turning for itself. And I, I looked it up and there's auto steering and there's auto accelerate. And so there's literally auto, I'm not exaggerating. There's auto steering, auto accelerate. There's one more thing, auto steering, auto accelerate. And there's one other thing that does auto. Is it auto braking? Steering. There's one other thing, and it's basically the entire game. It does the entire game for you automatically. I mean, I turn that stuff off, but then you play a game like Zelda. So, well, I was giving, I'm like, oh man, Nintendo has really gone soft. Like, the Zelda's gonna suck. We put in Zelda, it's the exact opposite. Sometimes they literally give you such little information that you have no idea what's going on, um, but it makes the game so much more challenging and so much more fun. And it's, it's just like a giant puzzle, so in that sense, it's amazing. But in return of that, I could see myself playing this game for like 100 or 200 hours, and I'm not exaggerating because there's just so much shit to do. So I don't think it makes sense for my girlfriend and I to have two different accounts because I don't know if I'll ever finish the game. I don't have patience to finish games like this, and my girlfriend does. So if we work together, I think we'll be able to take on Zelda and the final boss, wherever we have to do, and actually beat this game. Despite my issues with like really long games like that, I'm more of a multiplayer type person where I just want like a 10 minute match, then another 10 minute match, then another 10 minute match. I have a hard time finishing these really long games but despite that when I play Zelda I end up like turning over every single rock climbing every single tree checking every single bush doing all that stuff so it takes me forever to get through like one little spot on the map but in return we get so many cool things and like we find so many hidden secrets and all that stuff when we're playing that it's really fun and it's actually a fun game to watch and since normally I have all my video games hooked up to TV on my mini monitors right here, these aren't TVs, they're like computer monitors, I have it hooked up to my big screen TV so we can sit on the couch, sit back, play some Zelda, and it's like a pretty chill time. Um, but no, it's, it's a lot of fun and uh, I've been enjoying playing Zelda. So anyways, that's what's been going on in, in my neck of the woods. Um, Nintendo Switch, Legend of Zelda. I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone now. Hearthstone is that mobile app. I'm sure you guys know what it is. Here we go. Blizzard, there's Hearthstone. Activision Blizzard, I mean. This is a game on the PC, and it's also on mobile. It's just like a card game of World of Warcraft. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you probably know what Hearthstone is. I think they announced that 70 million people play this game online now. So between like this and League of Legends, these are the like two most played video games in the world. I mean, they have to be. I think League of Legends had some kind of record. And then the fact that this is on a mobile platform, it kind of has more potential to go to a lot of people. So 70 million people playing is, is just fucking phenomenal to me. It's insane. Um, it's a really fun game. It's very frustrating, but it's fun that you can play anywhere. And I normally just play pretty casually, but I'm trying to actually rank up in the ranked mode, like rank to a high rank. Can I say rank any more times? Because I'm trying to rank in the highest rank and be in the rank that there is a rank. So I'm ranked right now. And that's a lot of fun, but it's also really challenging and really time consuming. But I figured if I'm going to make, like, say, a Hearthstone video, no one's going to respect me if I'm not ranked. You know what I mean? I got to be like top ranked player here. I got into the top 5% of players last month, which is cool, uh, but I need to get a lot higher than that if I want to be actually good at the game or whatever, or actually have a good rank. All right, so this is the end of the video. I'm super hungover today, so I'm not really doing too much. I'm just going to be gaming all night. I really need to veg out on some video games because I uh, haven't been able to play too much. Maybe you'll see some other videos from me, hopefully sooner than later. I don't know how this video is going to end up because I basically just rambled on about a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll stream some Zelda. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll stream some Hearthstone. Anyways, you can find me on my YouTube page here at Blitz5 and Friends, or you can just search, you know, youtube.com slash Blitz, Blitz, wow, youtube.com slash Blitz5, or you could find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Blitz5 and Friends. Basically, I'm Blitz5. I made my video game stuff Blitz5 and Friends. If you search one of those things, you shall find me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're like, 
this was really boring, but somehow I made it to the end, you can give me a thumbs down. And um, I guess if you want to subscribe, that's cool too. Thanks.